Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my Time to Shine deck. So Virgo, your cards for this week, starting the 9th of January 2023, start off with the Three of Coins from the Teacup Tarot deck. And this is the card of teamwork, working with other people, sharing knowledge, working creatively. And it's when our lovely angels here on the card, when three of them work together, they reap the harvest from the tree. So teamwork, working with other people, collaboration is key for you this week. Your help or your hurdle, the two of pencils says, it's time for you to decide. It's the indecision that's been keeping you stuck. She can't decide on this or that. So a well thought out, well informed choice is what you're being asked to make this week because it's the indecision that's been keeping you stuck. And again, the next card, the guidance is about wise choices. It couldn't be better following on from here. Now the seven of teacups, look, she has seven teacups in front of her and each one has something different in it. So we've got lovely things like butterflies and stars and a bar of chocolate. But there's a little one down here with a grumpy gingerbread man in it and she doesn't want to choose him. So she's standing back and she's assessing them all and then deciding. That's exactly what you need to be doing this week. Look at all your options. Look at them carefully and then decide. How can we help ourselves? The two of wands comes up and says, work with somebody else. This is the card of positive partnerships. This is the card of teamwork. We're talking about teamwork here. Positive partnerships, working alongside somebody else can bring the success that you're seeking. Here they are. When they work together, there's the success. So, Working alongside somebody else, collaborations, conversations and teamwork again is coming through for you. Pulling it all together, the four of coins asks you to be mindful of situations of too much or too little. So this could be work-life balance. Are you resting as well as working? Financial balance. Is your bank account balanced? How much time are you giving away? And how much are you receiving back from other people? Get the balance right. It's time for you this week to strike a balance between the two. And your final outcome card, the six of pencils, is a lovely, fresh new energy coming in. This is about you moving on, feeling good. Here's your movement forward. This card sometimes comes up after things have felt a little bit stuck. And this movement forward will be showing up after you've made your decision. So just to summarise the teacup tarot cards. Teamwork, collaboration and working with others is key. Make wise and sensible and well thought out choices Maintaining a good work-life balance can propel you forward in a brand new direction. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The Four of Wisdom, that's the Emperor card in a traditional tarot, says time for you to step up into this leadership role, get organised, make your plans, stay disciplined. The Ten of Wisdom, this is lovely, is about positive moves forward, you taking action. Delays are over. I do feel that once you've decided, 
the road will open up and here's your movement forward like dominoes falling over. Once you've decided, it's time for this lovely positive change and move forward to find you. The seven of wisdom comes in and says, make you, talking about moves forward again. Make a move forward with balance and with discipline. This is the chariot card in traditional tarot. Yes, your movement forward is here. It says so here and here. And this card comes in, says, just go steady when you do. When, when that opportunity comes, take it steady, be disciplined, stay balanced. And enjoy this move forward. The one of wisdom comes in and says, it's time for you to shine your light. You are ready. You might not feel ready, but you are. You are ready and you can do it. And interestingly, all of these time to shine cards so far are from the wisdom suit. Those are the high energy cards in the deck. Quite unusual to get four in a row. The eight of thought comes in and says, don't let any old negativity and lack of confidence hold you back. Get rid of those negative thoughts. Do what she's doing on the card. There they are in a red balloon. She's going to pop that with a pin because the self-belief is here and your new mantra needs to be, oh, yes, I can. And another wisdom card, five out of six. That's brilliant. The final outcome card is about working in groups. This is about mentoring. This is about teaching. New ways of working. Everybody bringing something different to the table for the benefit of everybody else. So this is about perhaps doing things differently, but generally teamwork, collaboration, teaching and mentoring and working in groups is key for you this week. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.